Hey guys, RocketBoy265 here with another locomotive review. This is the new Atherton Genesis SD70M flared radiator unit in the Norfolk Southern scheme with number 2621 and it has tsunami sound. This unit retails for about three for $299.98 but I was able to get this one for $235.89 at Trainmaster Models in Buford, Georgia if you want to pause and look at all the information wonderful hobby shop we go there all the time with the club members, we carpool up there a lot um, every time we go up to a train show in Atlanta but as soon as you open the box this is what you get, you get your Genesis Operator's manual and sound guide lists all the CVs you need, um, your manuals, handling and maintenance, DCC and sound, warranty information, which has a one year limited warranty. You get your, I gotta send this, I'm gonna send this out today. Um, just so I can have enough file, but the Genesis locomotive card, warranty card. Then this is your one year limited warranty information paper. Your normal Ather news. Nah, that can just go in the trash. But I get every, it comes with everything, so why why would you keep it? But your exploded explosive diagram. SD70 at slash 75 series with the flywheel drive. It has the explode diagram on the front and back with all the gears and it has really loud sound system in it. I guess that's the speaker they use. It looks like a round speaker. I was thinking about putting a Railmaster speaker in it, the bass speaker, but the weight right here in the in the rear, the weight stops like right here, if not a little bit higher, and there's no room to put a speaker that big. So I'm just going to go with the speaker that's already in there because it sounds great. Um, just get your normal foam over the clear packaging. You got your little box. It has your handrails tank or the handrail protectors. You got your plastic. Um, doesn't look like it comes with separately applied details this time in, in the little in there. But nice packaging. So now let's get to the review. This unit weighs about a little over a pound. Great pulling power. It's got sand filler lines, um, four section radiator grills, three fans, see through, see through grill in the dynamic brake fan. You have your long hood forward mirror, sunshades, two Sinclair antennas and you got a little Sinclair antenna, K5 LA air horn, um, I had to reprogram this one because it comes default with the P3 but I'm going to put the K5 LA on, um, <clears throat> great detail, the only thing I do not like, um, I ordered new, or I ordered uh, LEDs and they already had the resistors in them. I'm going to replace all these lights in this locomotive with LEDs because the right ditch light in the front or the it'd be on the left on the camera but it whoever whoever was at the factory didn't put it in all the way and I don't know how to fix it so I'm just going to replace it cuz it's not bright at all none of the ditch lights except for the rear ditch lights and the rear headlight and the forward headlight it was basically just the front ditch lights they are not bright at all so I'm just gonna cut and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put in LEDs um, but this has very sharp painting very sharp detailing you can all the warning lab labels are legible under magnification let me show you the rear you have the horse for the Norfolk Southern rear ditch lights, MU cables the extra couplers that are actually painted like say 
in real life your coupler brakes these are the extra ones that would you would replace it still has the cheapo McHenry coupler, couplers which I have a pack of KDs over there for get your MU cable seems pretty thick um, a couple of cutler, ah, coupler cup bar air hoses safety tread on the walkways flip to this side get your 5,000 gallon fuel tank emergency shut off fuel gauge this is 8 wheel or 12 wheel drive oh looks, looks like that fell off but you got your sanding sanding zone lines your air filter the pet this is equipped with an e-bell but the sound in it is an air bell so if I can't program an e-bell in it I'm just gonna get a details west air bell um, this uh, see if that'll focus this is auto start equipped it's got the NS under warranty SD70M You have your metal etched, these are metal, well not metal etched, but they are metal windshield wipers. Um, you get your front, the front cab door, and I'm thinking this is the isolated cab phase 2, um, but someone correct me on that if, not, if, I, if I'm not correct. But you get the cutler cut bar, MU cable, air hoses, front plow, and you got your ditch lights. And this has the high headlight. And see if I can get a zoom on the inside. If not, I can do it over here. But it's got a full detailed interior. Now for the top. You got your looks to be plastic. dynamic brake fan. I don't the one thing I don't like on the like on the newer models than they did the um older ones, they actually put metal in them. Like it was a metal etched grill. This is just a plastic piece painted like that. But you have your see through smokestack, K five L LA or K five LA horn and then the three radiator grills with cabling on top. All I would rate this engine ten being the best and eight. The thing that killed it, the, the lights and the couplers, but I know they'll never fix that because they Athern owns um, McHenry, and why would you buy somebody else's couplers like KD if you own McHenry? But I'm just about finished with this review. I'm going to show the startup, the run by, the sounds. I will have listed in the description I'll, and shut down. So sit back and enjoy. Well, I accidentally hit the emergency shutdown, but that, there it goes.
Well guys, that's the end of the review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I do have a new Facebook page. Well, it's gotten... It's pretty popular, I guess, but... It's not really new, but I have a Facebook page. Just look me under RocketBoy265 on Facebook and you'll see a train as the profile picture. Um, make sure you like that page for more updates on my new layout. And take care.